You know, I have to say something when we're drafting. I, I, you know, I just don't understand it. I, 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 maybe, I, maybe I'm a little nuts here, but you tell me that this makes sense. The Toronto Maple Leafs, and I guess I, I'm not knocking the Toronto Maple Leafs. As I've said many times before, I have a leaf on my license, you know, the whole deal. I have season seats. And, and I grew up in Kingston, was not far. And Toronto Maple Leafs, Foster Hewitt, and the whole deal. So I cheer for the Leafs. I really do. And, you know, sometimes they say, I don't make any. But how can you, how can you, how could a team be in the middle of, of the more juniors than any other place in the world, more junior hockey players, I don't care, and somebody tell me else, never will. 40,000 kids play on the, in the GTHL. 40, 30 to 40,000 kids, right? So, and you draft, now right in the middle, you know, you draft, you, you must have scouts out watching, you draft, every one of your draft is either is from Europe and an American. And you're right in the middle of hockey. I just don't get... Take a flyer. And keep keep us... Uh, not GTHL. Keep us happy or anything. And just take a flyer. The reason they, they take Europeans late is um, they can... If they don't make out, they can just keep on playing until they're 20, 21, 22. Whereas we, our kids, get 20, when they get 20, they got to do something with them. But it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And then they go. Now, remember now, they draft nothing but Europeans and one American. And then they go and get, uh, they get guys from Ontario. <laughs> like I mean, the guy, they get all the guys they picked up, the free agency, is from Ontario. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, you draft all Europeans, and, you, and the guys you pick up are all from Ontario. Yeah, I, I just like we talked about it last year. I just wonder what the North American scouts think. Like, do I need to re- bother going to the rinks? And you know, like the the one guy that we we've talked about that a long time ago that that was the CHL defenseman of the year, this Hoffmeyer, um, who played for the sixty sevens and and Toronto sign. I I think he could be a good defenseman in a couple of years. But the the but the Leafs draft so many European defensemen. That are going that that Dubis, you know, you know, Dubis is going to give him those guys a better shot at making the club than Hoff Montmire. He'll get buried in the American League. Well, they've got to give him a shot because I well, mean, it was a CHL Defenseman of the Year. But I just know the way, and they got him by by accident. Uh, who was it? Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix uh, didn't sign him. Didn't right. sign him. They didn't sign him, and Hoffmeyer. I mean, this guy is about six foot two, but and he must be six foot two now. And I've always liked him. Right, he played for Ottawa, yeah. and he played for you know played for Ottawa, good Ottawa team. And they picked him up and uh, signed him for Marley's. Yeah, but but you know, and you like you you know you and I we watched him play for I forget who he played for. I think Don Mills and. You know, you kind of root for him, but I, you, you just know the way the thinking of those guys that he's he's going to be very tough for him to get a shot because they drafted so many of these small. And you know the number. You're right, and and they and you know, I I saw that firsthand when I was in Boston. I'm not knocking the guy. He was number one draft choice, and Mike Milbury was the best defenseman we had. He was better, believe it or not. Bobby, you know, it was a training camp, but he he worked hard. And he, Mike Milbury was, I'd already told him to get an apartment. I mean, I, I, I and, and, and um, general manager Harry Kamini says, uh, no, uh, we're sending Milbury to Rochester. I said, what? Send it to Rochester? He's our best. And I saw this in my, my first, second year, I think it was. And we kept the number one guy, and he couldn't play defense. Yeah, you and Harry kind of got into a big fight. That, we, we, that's when we started to go, started to go downhill. It wasn't quite... But he said, Milbury goes to Rochester. So what the, like, I, I, I didn't quite. And, and remember, when I played, you used to see the guys go up, uh, and they'd be number one draft choice. They couldn't carry the, some of the guys' jock straps we had, but they'd go up and play in the National Hockey because they were number one draft choice. And a guy like Hoffmeyer, I mean, he, they picked him up for nothing. Yeah, he'll have it. He'll have it. Well, you time. you had that you had that problem in uh, in Colorado too because they wanted the one guy and oh, you and you wanted to keep my job and you wanted to keep uh, Ron Delorme. Ronnie Delorme, uh, I think he's a chief scout for Vancouver. Vancouver, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. 
And he he really worked hard. It was between him and and uh, our number one draft choose who floated. I call him Baby Huey. That's what they call him. <laughs> I, <laughs> I call him a lot of names. I, I remember he got knocked out one time, and uh, the doctor said, he can't remember who he is. He can't remember. And Rene Robert said, tell him he's Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow.